started with a with a music video um, idea, which was for for our single right now. It's called "Some People Do," which is, you know, it's a little bit of a, of a departure for us as far as like, you know, you talk about like hooky hit song type of things. This one's like a ballad and a kind of a tearjerker, and you know, it's a heavy song. And uh, we met this dude, Jason Schneidman, who is like a hair and makeup guy. Uh, we met him like on one of our first like official photo shoots and he was the dude that was like helping us get dressed and fixing our hair and everything and we just clicked with him he's just a super cool guy and so for years we used him whenever we could and as we got to know him he started telling us his story a little bit and he's an addict and you know recovery and you know how he used you know he went into this program and it taught him how to be of service for people. And he's this extremely talented hairstylist. So he goes out and helps homeless people and gives them like haircuts, cleans them up and talks to them about sobriety and try, he can take them to, you know, he takes them on trips to rehab and, you know, he like really works with these people and, and makes them feel special. And so we're thinking about an idea for the video. He just popped into my head and thought like, wow, this would be a cool feature for, the video but it's hard to like tell all of that in a three minute music video so we did a little bit longer version where he allowed him to kind of tell his story and and what he's doing you know in his community to help the homeless population and just an amazing inspiring dude man he's he's an awesome guy and just a great vibe to be around and just makes you want to be better so we like went down there and and helped him out one day and just followed him around. And we literally just went down on Venice beach in LA and set up some tables and brought a bunch of pizzas and had boxes of t-shirts. And he had a whole team of hairstylists and barbers and, and we just were there and people would walk up and go, what are y'all doing? And he'd be like, you want a haircut? And they'd be like, yeah. And then like, oh, no way. I mean, people started just coming and, he was just, they were just hair was flying everywhere, man. They were just cutting all these people's hair and we were just talking to them and giving them food. And it was, it was an awesome day, man. It was really, it was it really changed your perspective on, you know, the homeless population in general. Yeah. Uh, me personally, like I, I fall in line with that, uh, with that falling in the box of you think they're, they're wanting a dollar for booze or they're wanting to, you know, do bad. Like he mentioned it in the documentary too. And my perspective obviously shifts like when you watch something like that. And honestly, like throwing, t- throwing the boy a compliment, I learned more about like the homeless population stuff through like Taylor because Taylor and his wife, Taylor, and they're very big and in that community and providing things for them. And anytime, anytime we pull up to something and I know I'm just saying, I know I'm giving you oops right now, but anytime we pull up anywhere and somebody comes knocking, like Taylor's always giving cash no matter what, like, you know, yeah. um, yeah, he's he's got this quote. I'll let Taylor say it. I don't want to take all of his stuff, but like that, those kind of things is when it started to shift my perspective of seeing Taylor. And then I saw that I'm like, yo, this is a, uh, it's just really cool because you you truly just don't know um, where somebody comes from, what their story is. Like, yeah. yes, some might be of a, 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 a certain come from a certain cloth, but you you have no idea unless you try to intentionally get to know somebody or lend a hand, help them out. Um, but that's honestly like. Kudos to both of you. you. Both of you are the biggest reason my perspective has changed um, kind of in that world because I am guilty of being that kind yeah. of person that would drive up. Everybody. Yeah. Like totally. do nothing. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think, I think everybody uh, to, to some extent it has been down that path before because as like human beings, like we're like, Willie says it all the time, like we survive in advance. We're just trying to get to like the next stage or to help ourselves up. And when you see someone panhandling or doing whatever on the corner, it's like, yeah, of course, like that person could go buy alcohol. But the reality is, is like our job as human beings, it's not to say you can and cannot do what I give you. It's here's my opportunity. I'm going to do my part just to help this individual, regardless of what they do with it is up to them. But like you've crossed that bridge into, okay, I put a hand out to help this person up. And it's like, well, Will, the phrase Will's talking about is giving somebody a hand up, not a hand out. And, um, there's this guy who works at a, a charity called Home Street Home. And this guy was, he Shout was homeless. Home Street, home. home Street Home. Yeah, he was homeless for 
I think six years. And I, I, I might butcher the entire story, but this guy now has a home, has a whole charity. He's raised, you know, I think, you know, over a few hundred thousand dollars. Wow. And what he goes is he literally takes people in that are homeless and gives them clothes, gives them food, gives them shelter. He's working on building homes to these people that go in and, and the city of Nashville and kind of rehabilitate themselves. Because when you ask anybody on the street, like what, what percentage of people are homeless because of addiction, you would think it's in the 30s, 40s, and 50%. Like those people, it's only 7%. Only 7% of people like, that are affected are because of addiction, which, right. is, which again is not like something you should ever – you know, it's not our jobs as human beings to judge right. those people. Right, it never right, is. Right. And like, we're all, we're all super lucky. Like you said, like, what you do, you got to love it. And like, you, you got to go and play music and you got to like do the shit. Like you got to sit at the, 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 the stand with one mic and there's three drunk guys yelling at you on stage and you're just hoping to get a $5 tip. Like we got to go through this shit of playing high school ball. You know, you try to go through college and make it and you're working, you know, it's, it's pretty it's such a crazy difference, but there is that work up and you make it cause you're good, but you also make it cause you're lucky as shit. And a lot of people don't have that luck. Like, and I think, you know, it, you give somebody a dollar, like what's it to you if you have a dollar to give? like, you know, it's not going to affect you. It's not gonna affect me if I give a dollar yeah. out. Yeah. And the thing is, man, maybe, maybe they do go buy, you know, alcohol or drugs with it, but it's the moment that you speak to them for, for a mm. second. That's what we really like that. We really like, noticed was how much they appreciated if you just took a second to ask them a question or ask right. them about their you know their their hair or ask them what their name was or you know just just that interaction you know just to have them feel like uh, a person and not right. just someone to rush by you know go do whatever you will with the money but you know if you give them that interaction it it's they appreciate it so much and it, it just kind of like you were saying like one guy was like man he was kind of telling us his story and he was like you know not everybody's out of here because you know they're addicted to something like you know it's like for me it came he's like my my wife had a heart trouble and it was either pay for her heart surgery or keep a roof over our head and he he's like we had to do this surgery out yeah, she would have died without it so we did this mm -hmm. surgery and we couldn't afford to pay for our house and he ends up losing his house. I mean, it's just like you said, like some people don't have that luck, man. It's like, so it goes a long way when you can just do whatever you can. It doesn't have to be a lot. 